All right, today I'm going to show you how to diagnose a um, pressure washer. It's a really simple process that's not really uh, explained well anywhere on the internet. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is turn some water on. We have the water attached to the hose the inlet for the pressure washer, right? And if you don't see any water coming out of the of the other part here. You have an issue. Most common thing I see that uh, people tend to neglect is there's a filter, a water filter in between the hose connection. And I'll take it out so you can see this. This is a filter. It's a water filter. And it keeps particulates out of the hose. And this is the most missing part I see in pressure washers. And what it does is causes like particulates into it to enter into the, uh, what's going on, how are you? <laughs> to enter into the uh, actual pump itself and it destroys the pump. So you wanna make sure you have your uh, filter in place, yeah? And, it, and this is where it goes. All right, so uh, now the soundtrack to life has gone by. Not and now we're gonna turn on the water and we'll see, you'll see the pressure and the hose change. Let's take a look and see what happens. Oh, there you go, so you see there's no water coming out. That's the first problem. We have some sort of clog going on, yeah? Maybe, I don't know. That's a good, that's a good indicator. We're gonna unscrew that right there. That is an unloader valve, and that often gets trapped, seized up, so let's do it. How you doing? What a power of Briscoe! Uh, yeah. Oh, look here. Well, that's an interesting little turn of events, right? So there's water coming out of there. That's what that looks like. Right, let's just turn, the, turn it on and see what... Uh, so what we get. So I think on further inspection, this looks more like an injector, a chemical injector because of that nozzle. I don't know. Let's turn some water on and see what happens. All right, so we know water will flow through there. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and uh, Attach a uh, uh, look at the other, uh, the actual, I think it's a chemical injector. Let's take a look at that. All right, let's go ahead and get the, uh, this is the unloader valve. That was the chemical in injector. Keep on referring to the wrong thing. Yep. Easy come, easy go. <laughs> well, that ship is going south real quick. Try some. Yep, whipped it out the big guns. This is a 21 millimeter uh, socket, and it fits right on there. So let's see. Let me get this broken. What do you think it'll work? Yeah, it worked. Yeah. Hmm. 
Great tool for the job. Alright, so here we go. So this here should move. We've got some O-rings around it. Oh, let's turn it on, see if water comes. And that's a good sign. Water comes out, right? All right, let's move. Right, let's try to get this to uh, see if we can get it to move up and down. So I got my brass punch here, and uh, just gonna tap on it a little bit, tighten up the vise. as far down as it can go and see if we can get this to go up hmm. you know we're gonna have to spray this thing We'll spray it and come back in about five minutes. See if we can, see if that'll help a little. All right, let's see what kind of shenanigans we can get into here. Um, raise it up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, that doesn't look so. So this has some uh, lip on it, so we can probably put this on here. It does turn it. It has two flat sides. That's the only reason why I'm able to do this. Let's pull this off. We're going to try to surface this from the other side. We'll leave the other part intact. Go with this. This is a 10 millimeter. And let's see if we can get that off. Okay, that's off. And we're going to use a uh, hex key. There's a hex key inside space in it. This is four millimeters. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Just checking to see what's happening in here. Hmm. Okay, so that was six turns, right? Okay. Okay, when I turn this, this, I can see it turn the very, very top right there. Which is what makes me wonder if this is supposed to move freely. <sighs> hmm. uh, you know, I, I do recognize this is not a uh, check valve. I've been calling it the wrong thing.
Gosh, you look at this. See, that does move in and out. It comes all the way out. What do you think? So this moves a whole lot easier. Um, it's real small, the movement. I don't know what the range should be. You know, I could possibly continue to like pound on and try to knock it out of there, but I'm gonna leave it at that. Oh, let's just put this back together and uh, we'll uh, see, what, uh, see what other shenanigans we gotta deal with. Yeah. All right, so remember we had a uh, six turns okay so one two three four five okay it's getting tight six It's a 10 millimeter. That just kind of locks it in place. All right, so uh, I did double check this again. This is uh, made by An Anovi Riverberry. It's a really beautiful name, if you can say it right. It's Italian, it's Italian water pump. And they pretty much make most of these water pumps on these things. These are their, this is, these are their cheaper water pumps, you know. I forgot something I want to do. So this is your unloader valve. I was absolutely right about that the first time. And uh, I would like to, I want to ma maintain, show you how to maintain this a little better. One, two, three, four, five, Okay, so we want to grease this a little. We're going to use uh, this sly silicone. It's a waterproof grease. Just going to pack it in there. So that was two turns. Three, four, five-ish. Let's keep let's keep it loose. I want to do something because I need to check and see why the water is not getting past this one other part. So we'll lock it down. And nothing too crazy. Alright. Now um you know, I sprayed a whole bunch of, uh, you know, uh, PB Blaster in there. I can't get to that. If I could have knocked this out, I would have put packed some grease in there. But we're going to leave it like this for now. Let's put it back on the machine and uh, test it. All right, so before we put this, uh, I want to take a... Uh, this is where we are with the diagnosis, right? We have water coming out of here, but no water coming out of here. Right? That's where the pressure hose goes. So what we want to do now, right, is uh, before we put the uh, unloader valve back, we're gonna take that chemical injector out and see what's going on there. Yeah, let's do that. So that's a 10 millimeter we're gonna use.
Okay, the, that has a spring. Oops, sorry, you can't see. So that has a spring that sits on top, sorry, a spring that sits on top of a, of a ball, right? And uh, let's, uh, let's put the chemical injector back in and see if we get water out the other side. So we have water being fed into it right now. You can see nothing's coming out. So there's a clog. Yeah, there's a clog. Hmm. Yo! Yo! Okay. Yo! Slow it! Okay. It's a trust thing. No, it's not trash. Okay. You know better than that. Okay. No, 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 no. It's it's trash. Alright, you see there's water coming out finally. Right? Right there. Water's finally coming out. This is what's happening. Let's see, loosen this up right here. And water comes out, right? What does that tell me? It's not getting past right here. Right here is not getting water past that. So that means something is clogged right here, right? And I think it's a valve, it's not, it's not moving up and down. So that's what we have as a diagnosis for now. We got water pressure back on, right? Uh, with the water pressure back on, I want you to see how it changes when I uh, loosen and tighten the uh, release valve.
Let's me tightening it back up. So I think that pressure release valve has failed. That's what I think is wrong. It's not moving. So it's because it's not moving, it's not allowing water to get by and it's not allowing it to build up pressure because it kind of closes the system off and water loops back. I'm sorry, you can't see what I'm talking about. Okay, the valve itself will uh, will open and close like that and it depending on how much closure it has, it restricts, it stymies the flow of water. And then that's what builds up the pressure because the water, the, the, as the water hits the release valve, the pressure release valve, it circles back and then the pumps itself are getting, building up more and more pressure and then the little bit of water that gets through is what builds up pressure and then it comes out at a, at a higher pressure so you can adjust the pressure itself. So that's what's happening with that. The pressure release valve is not uh, moving anymore. It's causing, um, it's uh, completely stopping any water from flowing out. I have a feeling we can probably see if this is possible to uh, bring back to life. I think it should run, it should move much, much more easily back and forth. I think that's what the issue is, you know? Now I lubed it and pulled it apart as you saw, but I think we're gonna go a little further. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dip this in the ultrasonic cleaner. And before I do that, I gotta get some, see this has a passage here. I don't know what's happening, but I wanna try to see if the ultrasonic cleaner can give this thing a second chance. You know, I don't want to damage the O-rings. Right, so that's that's one. So I don't really have a replacement O-rings for these right now. So. Right. And I tried to tap this out, but I was not successful. But I think I'll go like this. So un unscrew that. Right. I do not know what's inside of this thing. I bet you there is a several rubber O rings in there. Well, at this point, we have nothing to lose. So go like that. Yeah, let's 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 give that a nice uh, bath in the ultrasonic cleaner and see see what happens. So the uh, client decided that they're going to replace the water pump. So. And, and also, they're going to uh, fix the uh, blown head gasket on this. So let's open this up and see what uh, we can drain the fuel out of here. So we can just work with it without it spilling everywhere. Uh, just to let you know, I took the handle off. Can you see? Hmm. No, yes. Anyway, the handle is off. And uh, it has two of each. That looks like a, uh, I believe that's a 5 sixteenths, so pull that off. So this is the air filter uh, housing, I believe. Yeah, should be. It's a little dirty back there. So I'm pulling this apart so I can get to this hose. One, two, three.
this thing's hard to have flip on it. Interesting. So this is pretty greasy, so we have a, uh, yeah, it's clean and do. Yeah. All right, so got a fuel line here. You can see it. Probably not. Got my jar of uh, 89 octane veganese. These wrenches are great to tip. It's great for pulling hoses. I still let that do it for a little bit. So that's what came out of it. Kind of, kind of uh, very pea-like color. Not sure if that means it's, uh, it's, uh, you know good or bad, but I do know that uh, it started the engine quite well, so that's it. Okay, so we had a couple, uh, three actually, bolts, it's good. nuts, it's going to be hard to get. That one, they're all 13 at the top, right? And uh, here, oops, and right back here, and underneath is, uh, those, those top ones are getting 13, that one's going to be the pin in Tuckus, right? And they kind of like, uh, let's see. <sighs> the bottom here. Whoa! Yeah, all right. I'm not scared at all. Okay, so we have three of these. Right, one, two, three that go into them. And they are six millimeter uh, hex. Uh, uh, find it. Yes. Or six millimeter. Six or nine. Mm, boy, when fonts become multiple interpreted. Anyway, yeah, it's a six millimeter, so it kind of goes in here. All right, so let's try to get those off. So we need to separate the, hopefully this will separate the pump easily from the top so we can service this, kind of like pull it apart and, yeah, we need to get that head gasket. You can see it, well, whatever.
You didn't see anything. That came out. Can you see? Yeah. This came out from here. The hard one. It's actually quite easy. Kind of long, I suppose. Right? easy. Alright, well that's it. That's, uh, I want to separate water pump. You can see that the uh, since it's separated the engine from the uh, water pump, you can see right here at the bottom of this head gasket is uh, that's where the leak is coming from a lot better. So we got to get a uh, muffler guard off. Probably pull the muffler off just to get some space. Not really. But then the guard we got to get rid of some shroud from up top. That's going to be in our way. Yeah. The two Phillips screws here. These are a coarser threaded, so that means they are screwing into plastic. Start has to come off. I don't know, I don't know. 
full start. Yeah, I think so. Full start. So this is attached to that. Oh, let me see. Take a look here. Gas tank. I'm going to pull that off. This off, this tin off. Alright, uh, yeah, let's see. We need to remove this gas tank, I think. Uh, and this is all one piece. It's a full start and gas tank, yeah. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Let me uh, get you a better angle. Alright, let's see what we can, what we can do. Be uh, five sixteenths again. Uh, it's going to be a lot of noise, but I want to speed this up so I'm stuck. Right here, there's a, a, a fastener. How fascinated all of these fasteners are fastened. Okay. What that would be. It's not. Feels like three eighths. I'll give it a try. What? No extension? Oh my god. Alright, so we got that uh, three eighths ring here with an extension on it. So we to free up the gas tank. The gas tank and the pole starts all one piece. Spare the noise pollution. So that's that. Disconnected fuel lines. I had reconnected it to stop it from dropping. Okay. Fuel tank.
Sorry, that was not the pull start. That was the gas tank I just relieved. Okay, the tin itself here is... Uh, I think okay, that contains the pull start. Okay, so it also has the uh, oil dipstick attached to it. So, uh, I think we should... Alright, so what do you think that's going to be? It's pretty small, isn't it? I'm going to say 5 sixteenths. Yeah. Feels a little sloppy. But. Okay, that's that. Dipstick. It's got an O-ring there, so I don't want to just check that. Make sure that's not uh, compromised. Okay, looks good. Alright, now let's get this off. So, what are you thinking? Three eighths, maybe? Yeah, that works. Bumping here. That's not good. A little unforeseen miscalculation on my behalf. The oil dipstick out, uh, the oil is going to flow out of it. So we got to be careful how far we can dip this thing around. So can't go too far, but I got to get these two off and wipe my hands also. Okay, so right here, right, is uh, information on the engine type. So you can use that to try to get the part.
right somewhere over here. Uh, something's holding something on. Oh, right here. Right here. Shorter than the others. So that. Looks like it just kind of slides down in between there. Let's get this oil leak. My own Valdez accident happening here. Uh, Oh boy, I should have just drained that oil. Uh, it's getting messy. 